All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the Bobcat S750 and S205 models in 150th scale. I believe these models were produced by uh, DCP because uh, you can get them or you can get the 205 in a uh, set that comes with a DCP truck and trailer. Um, but for the review, we're going to take a look at the 175 as the model, the 150th models are exactly the same with just like one or two maybe differences. Um, one thing to note is I do not have the standard wheels that are on the uh, S175 and S205. These are off of, uh, I believe it's uh, Silverado, the uh, DCP Silverado. Uh, you can change up the tires. They are interchangeable. So you do have different tires uh, if you buy this model. Uh, you're going to have some tires with some tread on them. Um, so starting off, uh, you can see you got a nice Bobcat decal right there. And you also have one on the bucket. Uh, on the uh, 175, the bucket is, uh, I believe it's gray. And on the 205, it is black. Uh, and you can see right here, you got some, you got your rims. You got some bolt detailing. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you do have some bolt detailing uh, in the rims, which is nice. And then you got a nice S175 decal right there and a little Bobcat decal below it. Uh, the rivets aren't painted, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, they do stand out. Um, it kind of uh, ruins the look of the model. Coming to the back of the model, you can see you got a nice Bobcat logo on the engine cover. You got your reverse and brake lights right there. You got a little exhaust pipe modeled right there. And um, you got some more ugly rivets right there. Unfortunate in this side uh, is exactly the same as the other side. You can see right here, you get the S175, the Bobcat decal right there, more ugly rivets. Uh, and you get a nice Bobcat logo and the Bobcat logo right there, uh, which is nice. Uh, and then coming to the front, uh, the operator's compartment, I know it's a little hard to see uh, since it is black on black, uh, but it's not really detailed at all. It's just a seat. There's no control. There's nothing really uh, modeled in there uh, as well. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure when this model was released. I, I know they're hard to find now. Uh, and I believe when it was released, it was like a $15, $20 model. Um, uh, for the price, it's uh, for the price then, it was a good price. For now, I don't know what you're going to find them for and what people want for them. Um, but it does have some good functionalities, which we'll get to. Uh, so the lift height uh, is good. It'll go to about uh, there in lift height. Uh, it can, I believe it can clear the Oshkosh dump truck. I don't believe it can clear it can clear the uh, first gear dump trucks. I know the S750 can clear the uh, first gear dump trucks, uh, but I know the S175 has a little problem struggling to get over that dump bed, uh, but it will clear the Oshkosh if I remember correctly. Uh, and then there's your dumping angle, uh, which is nice. And you got two cylinders in there that are uh, uh, that power the bucket and you got your lifting arms right here. Uh, and it is a nice little model. Uh, and then your your cut depth uh, is about there, which is pretty nice. Um, overall, uh, it's a nice little Bobcat piece. I wouldn't recommend paying more than maybe $20 for this piece. Um, like I said, you can get the S175 or the S205. The only difference I can see is the buckets. Uh, this one is black and this one is gray. That's about the only difference I can see. And obviously one comes with a set and the other came straight as just a model. Uh, 205 comes in the set. The 175 is a model on its own. Uh, as far as the 150th version, can't really tell the difference between the castings. It's, I believe it's just the exact same casting. Uh, they just put a different decal on. Um, but that's uh, sort of about it for the uh, Bobcat S205 and S175 review. Um, like I said, a little bit harder of a model to find. Um, so if you're looking to get one, um, you're going to really have to search for them or they do probably pop up on eBay. I just, I'm not really looking for them. Um, but overall good models. I'd, I'd recommend if you like skid steers or you have some tag trailers, some tag trailers, you're looking to uh, get a load for them. Uh, but that's going to do it for this review. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow my social media, both links are in the description. Uh, if you'd like to see a review, any, a review of anything, uh, please feel free to ask and stay tuned for the next video be uploaded.